The story begins here, and it's the day before we're meant to leave for the Isle of Wight. I am working, it's four o'clock, and Storm Eunice is being an absolute menace. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go because currently, all the ferries are canceled. Due to Storm Eunice, all services are now suspended across all three white link routes. Apparently they have my number and they're gonna get in touch with me, but it's so deceiving because the sun is out and it looks like we're gonna have a beautiful sunset, but it's so windy. And my friend sent me this from Brighton Beach this morning. Wow, it's just crazy. <laughs> I'm lucky I don't get travel sick, but Mia gets very seasick. There's no way that she's going to be riding that. I don't know, but I'm up for the adventure, and if you guys are still watching, it seems like so are you. <laughs> so welcome to our trip, supposedly to the Isle of Wight. Let's see if we make it. Hi, my name's George, and I'm a music producer living and working out of this bus for the past four years. We have made amazing memories like these all over Europe, loads of meetups, but sadly, COVID stopped us from traveling. Well, that seems like it's over now, so we are gonna take our first trip overseas on a little trip to the Isle of Wight in search of some dinosaurs, head into nature, and this is what's coming up in today's episode. So I couldn't use my points because I've not registered the card. Mia gets really sick on boats. So, situation, we're at sea level and I don't fancy that. The flavour's really good, but Set. nine hours. Take two. Take two. Step back! You guys are really getting the glimpse of what it's like with van life. I just got through and spoke to Ian. They are hoping the service will resume shortly, George, and hope tomorrow will not be affected. Hello? Hello. So, hey. I spoke to someone. Yeah. So, I think we're still on. Good. You ready for the Isle of Wight? Yeah. Woo! -hoo! We're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold. Here we come. Understand how it all started to go wrong. Let's down every time. Guys, big round of applause. Please leave loads of comments. I need to smack you in the face, sorry. For Mia, Mia's introduced to the vlog. Mia, of course, is my girlfriend. And this is the first trip we'll have done together in the bus. How are you feeling? Excited. She knows what she's doing. She's a true van lifer at heart. <laughs> Mia's got a page called Adventure Llama. <laughs> With her, look, get your llama, show us your llama. Get your llamas out. Get your llama out. This is Adventure Llama and this is going <laughs> to go everywhere. And already has been on some adventures. But this is the first official overseas adventure of Adventure yeah. Llama. Adventure.llama on Instagram. No, the.adventure.llama. You Thank heard you. it here first. Absolutely wrecked. On the road again! So why do we hold on? Even if it hurts so It's breaking us apart I'm afraid we have that tour already filmed You'll need to change to a different pump You're going to have to move the bus because pump 7 failed Are you going to do a circle? No, I'm just going to reverse Is there anyone behind you? I hope not <laughs> They won't be in a minute. They're about to get squished <laughs> if they are. Sounds like a bloody bird's in it. Tweet, tweet. Little, what is those that little sound? robins like, tweet, tweet, don't. Not even getting to the end of white. It's the sound of the engine. So the engine's in here. More, we literally like more, sat on the engine. It's just more really exciting chats about the bus. <laughs> <laughs> She's already bored about me telling her, telling her how the bus works. <laughs> bus life, yo. Morning. The real question is, will George bring me back a pan of chocolate? No, I think it's a no. Bloody let down. It needs a clean. So I couldn't use my points because I've not registered the card. No pan of chocolate for me. They were £2.50 each. Oh, I'm not spending a fiver on them. <laughs> I've got us four protein bars. On the road again. <laughs> on the road again. Let's 
Main 16. Wow, that's okay. efficient. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So, can they tell France how to do that? Because that was so quick. <laughs> that was very good, and we're on our own lane. The boat's not here, but the water's there. Best thing about van life, of course, is you can make a coffee for the boat and for now in your own home, queuing for the boat. I've missed this so much. This ticket to the Isle of Wight, which is known as being, I think it's technically the most expensive strip of water in the world, I think. Don't quote me on that. And I think it's 150 pound return. So 75 pound each. Not too bad for a week away. How are you feeling about the boat? Uh, debating whether to take a sickness tablet or not. Mia gets really sick on boats, don't you? Yes. Signs told us how we could reach the other side And you start to doubt We're just back from sailing the island We do have uh, tide with us We should be arriving in Fishhorn by 11.40 Why are we not on that yacht? Good? That is great Yeah, I'm ready Good 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 Getting the adventure on. I, I need to put it on. It's breaking us apart. So, situation is a good one. This car park, you can stay for like up to 24 hours, but motorhomes is the cheapest. Woo. £10.40 for 24 hours. Wow. Banger. But we've got to park in that car park, which we have to access from a different road. Okay. And it looks slightly more steep. So we need to just embrace it tonight. But I'm down for that, because that means pub. Hey. <laughs> Literally just waves. We're coming in. We're coming in. Right, so we're going back to where we were, yeah? Yeah. Look at it though. We literally just saw a tree in the, in the sea. Tree There's another one over there. One there. A tree over there. Thought we'd scout another location that we'd seen that could be a sick view if it cleared up tomorrow. But we're at sea level and I don't fancy that in, nah, this, in, a, in a storm, mate. No, thank you. Yeah, it's a no from me. What we got here then, Mia? So it's, it's like a um, chickpea tuna. And <laughs> out of ten. Because you never had a tuna sandwich because you're a veggie. It's really nice. I think it's a good lunch. Um, obviously, we've got with some rocket here. Um, Better than you expected. Mm, and you thought so as well. Yeah. All right. I wanna, so I, wanna, I do I, actually eat tuna. I want to hear your opinion on it. I'm not veggie, but you are. Give it a go. That is just tuna. Is it? Well, texture. Texture's really good. Do you know what it reminds me of? When we were kids, we used to go to scout camp. And we had this sandwich spread that went into it. And it did look quite similar. It looks kind of gross, that, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's horrible. But it was I'm, a sandwich paste. If I'm you're in the impressed. UK and you remember having those sandwich paste, leave a comment down below, because I might just be crazy. It might only be me. I bet they still do them in a little jar. And it was like a paste. I don't know how, to exp how else to exp that's what it's That's what it's like. And I was saying, a lot of the vloggers that we watch are vegan, so they always make things like this. So I think that's what, probably where I saw it. And you said... Are all van lifers vegan? <laughs> Every van life we, like, person we watch are vegan. It's a thing. That was good. Yeah, literally. I would do that again. Only thing I'd change sweet to make it better. Sweet corn. I do love sweet corn. And I reckon gherkins. Really mm, thinly sliced. Like little bits. Banger. Where did that ketchup go? What are you doing, George? Sending it. What are you sending? Leftover pizza. Just to have to... A lovely sandwich that I made you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely pizza that I made you. <laughs> no, actually, Aldi made it, mate. <laughs> well, thank you, Aldi, because I'm sending you pizza again. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that. We've been watching these shipping containers go past, and then I started reading this. The Titanic, on its maiden voyage sails past here so just like that ship but it would have been going the other way i think blooming titanic came past p 
mate, to look through one of them. Aww. 20p, I'm guessing. One pound. One pound. One pound? Hey, they were 20p when I was a kid. Like Even 20p was expensive. Nope. Look with your eyes. Look through this lens, look. There you go. <laughs> Stand behind me. You ready? Ooh. 50p, please. 50p. Gotta pay this camera off somehow. I know, I know. That might be us later. I was just saying to Mia, oh, this place looks really nice. And she went, oh, that's where we're eating tonight. Dressed up, van life. Don't have to be wearing a hoodie all the time. <laughs> Take a trip with me. Will you? Mm, maybe. I don't know if people can see it well on the camera, but we literally have like a sea view from our bus. Is it cold? Cheers. Uh, wait, show me your phone. Just very quick. No, stop. Happy? How do you feel about the fact that these chips are nine pounds? Yeah, I am slightly. What's the They're word? good though. Yeah, they're they really are good. good. The, the flavour's really good, but they're... nine pounds. <laughs> Alright, tomorrow? Just Monkey Haven. Just yeah. All right, we have had a whole change of plan today. So we were gonna go to a monkey sanctuary today and then we were gonna go where else were we gonna go today? Oh, we're going to get Monkey Sanctuary and then we're going to park up at the garlic farm and then go for breakfast tomorrow morning. Now the weather is so bad that we're thinking Animal Sanctuary is just not going to be as fun as it would be with good weather. So we are on our way to the garlic farm for breakfast today. And then we're going to ask them if we can kindly stay in their car park. Hopefully it's quiet enough um, and it looks like a nice little graveled one and it looks sheltered from the wind because this storm is still hitting hard. And we've just had a warning on our phones come up saying that there is another storm with another name that's hitting right now for the next two days. So we're still unsure as tomorrow whether or not we're going to be able to do stuff. Uh, but we figured if we go for a nice breakfast today, we're going to make some music. We're going to do some productive stuff whilst the weather's bad. And then when the weather's good, we can get back out again. And we are only 19 miles away. It by like three or more, three minutes. Some wacky pigeons. Look oh, at them. Wow. Look at them up there. They've got stripes on them. No, that's what I'm saying. Look at him. He's got a stripy ass. See you later. I wonder if Miracle has something to do with the. That's so sweet. I think Miracle has something to do with the way that the cow was born. Hi, cows. Love you. Beautiful views, though. smell unreal in here. <laughs> Vampire bubble. I've got to get one of them. The number of leaves on this stem of garlic, you need to get how many cloves there are on the ball. Mm. And in America, a clover duck is known as a toe of garlic. Yeah, Thank you very much. Garlic. Hey, yo, get in that. Oh That's my all God, we've got, yeah. I think. Now I've got bread, garlic. Hey, yo, I'm donating you a chip to try that. Oh, no, my, mine's butter, George. That's butter. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> try this one then. Get in. Is it good? Mate, it's fun. Oh, my God. Believable. <laughs> you know, and she said. And there's rosemary on this. You've got some on there. What's, that? what's, on, what's oh in my there? God, what's I've, got garlic. I've got mayo on there. I've never had garlic mayo like that, even close. It's insane. All right, we'll see you after this, bye. <laughs> so we bought this massive garlic, basically inside of my head. Um, <laughs> and she was like, is this for eating or is it for growing? We were like, eating, I think, I don't know. And then she gave us this grow your own garlic sort of leaflet. So 
apparently we can grow our own garlic now from this. What else have we got then? And then I bought a pesto and garlic dressing. Lovely. Lovely. And then you and myself both bought garlic mayonnaise with black garlic and lemon. Mm. At the minute, I'm not getting the vibe that we're going to be able to stay or, or who to ask. Welcome to the garlic farm shops and restaurants. We're seeing the hail and coo. Oh my god, where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, look at them though. Oh my god, look at the horns this on that one. Of the baby one before. Look at the horns. Oh my Christ, their horns are massive. Wow. I wish we had the camera to zoom in. Mon amour, c'est la vie, we'll meet again. Did I see you about a month ago or two? How do, how do you want me to sing it? Do it what feels good, because this is going to America, so... They might love it, mate. Exactly. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Sounding very beautiful, though. Thanks. Singing into my mic with all your garlic breath. <laughs> we still haven't been to the shop to ask if we can stay for the night. We're really tired. There's something about van life in bad weather. When it's really bad, I don't mind it if I'm like working, because you're just like, oh, it's bad weather, and you're like in work mode, everything's set up. But when you're in this kind of limbo of everything's still out, you know, we're not, we're in driving mode. You're kind of in limbo between the day. And then when the weather's really bad, it's fine when the weather's good because you just go for a walk, you open the door, it's lovely. But when the weather's bad, it's different. You've got to be a certain type of person, I think, if you want to do van life, that you can cope with days like this. Because also, I'm not very good at having a day where I just turn the TV on and just watch TV all day. Like, I just, I'm not that kind of guy, really. I'd rather be doing this. But when you're in limbo, it feels weird. But what is going to feel really good is when we've recorded this, got it all down we've got all the piano down and then we've done a song right then we'll feel probably accomplishment and then we can work out where we're gonna stay let's get the main vocal down then i'll go to the shop that's what i'm trying to do right now mate but you're you're doing that all right go captain <laughs> you know i travel the world for you wherever you are i'll be by your side in no time like I never left at all. Woohoo! That sounded I lovely. I wouldn't go, but I don't know if it was good enough. All right, good news. I'm just said to me, I'm good. We didn't film it, but at the same time, we wanted Shit. discretion, <laughs> discretion to the owners and that. But basically, we actually managed to ask the owners, or we got the woman who served us for lunch, to ask the owners if we could stay here because. We're in such a sheltered area, but even up there, it's really windy, even just there. So um, anyway, we went to ask, and he's like, if you feel safe enough, that's totally fine. And we'll be off in the morning, so it's not a problem at all. Maybe tomorrow morning, just yeah. as a thank you, I was say we should... just go for a coffee at like nine. Yeah. We did spend a good amount of money there. Yeah, we, we, spent, we spent £45 there, so um, yeah. Anyway, we're sorted, so we're going to get the heater on, buckle down. Uh, Mia's gonna finish recording the song, then I'm gonna do my bit on the song, then we'll make some food and chill, basically, for the evening. Breakfast is served. Did you not make one for yourself? You told me that we had to share one, so... I did it for the vlog, didn't I? <laughs> so we have to wait a little bit for the air pressure to raise. Now the brakes have two plates, brake pads, that go onto the brakes. And then the air pressure is what allows those brakes to come off the wheels to, to actually release the brakes. If we've got no air pressure, we can't release them. So uh, we've just got to wait a few minutes. My chair is filling up with gas. Can you see me raising? Yeah. Can you do it on camera? Up. So that means we're getting pressure, which means we can then release the handbrake and then go, so we've got to wait a minute. And then Mia's going to help me out. Right. What, what happens if the car comes in? I've just got like that. No, because I shouldn't be on the road. I should be able to scoot closer. Hopefully they'll just stop. Right. I'm like balancing a smoothie here. Well, let's see. Mia does. She stood there looking quite confident. Go! 
is that? Oh god, that's stressful. <laughs> I got something in my eye halfway through that as well. Perfect, come take a seat, let's hit the road! For two, please. We were just saying really briefly that we always try and do our research when we come to a place like this and make sure it really feels like an animal sanctuary or somewhere where they've got rescued animals. Some of the places in here felt like the places were too small for them. This is lovely for these guys, but just some of them didn't feel like as much. So make sure you do research before you come to a place like this. Make sure it's not like entertainment as much as it is like them looking after the animals because the animals are just happy here. Everyone, everyone wins in that scenario. So this place is good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it doesn't feel as good as other places we've been to before. But we're going to go to a monkey sanctuary now. Back to the bus. Back to the bus. We always have to park in the coach park. Coach park. Or the motorhome park. One or the other. It's always <laughs> one. I'm going to smash out a little bit of recording whilst Mia does. You can hear her in the background doing. Sorry, that wasn't me saying stop. <laughs> Mia's gonna make us a couple of sandwiches and some crisps, get some lunch, and then we'll have completed another job and then can go and enjoy the monkey sanctuary knowing that, knowing that all the important stuff is done for the day. Again, you guys are really getting the glimpse of what it's like with van life. I just love that we can literally leave one place, come in, get some lunch, I can record some vocals for half an hour and within an hour, hopefully we'll be off. Power on. Yeah. Obvious, but you left my heart behind when I walked right out the door. Wow, thank you. Just finished recording. I'm just editing it together. Proper child's lunch. <laughs> children's lunch. Children's. You always say children's. It's children's. Children's. Mmm. Hmm? 10 out of 10. Thank you. Honestly, if you are thinking about doing a little setup in your van to be able to do some work, it's so good on the fly when you just need to do something. Like that's for the, one of the biggest labels in America for their licensing world. And to keep my reputation looking good, I can do it like within an hour of getting the message. Most of the time, you know, I'm around and can make space to make it happen. And you have all your gear here and you're out and about. And we can now go to a monkey sanctuary knowing that I've done the job. I've uploaded all the files, the link is ready to go. We just need the thumbs up, green light, and I can send it on my phone from my Google Drive. Absolute winner. So if you're that kind of a worker and you wanna be quick on the fly, like on the go, but you feel like you need a studio, I hope this gives you some confidence to know that you can do it from a van. Like the scene. We've missed Meerkat Mayhem, but I think we go see the Meerkats. Yeah. Um, but Monkey Lunch, we're on that. Monkey Lunch? Yeah. At 1.30. How cool are these handrails? They're all monkeys. Look at them. I love that. We were just saying how much nicer this whole place is. This whole area is so much better kept than the last place. And it is literally... The animals even look just cleaner, more calm. It is literally a haven as well. Like they, they were injured to animals, like they had to be here, so... <laughs> Go on, mate. Cool. Oh, mate, it's so good. I think this is my favourite one, you know, that we've seen. 
Yeah, same. Oh. He's pulling a really funny face at me. Now, sadly, all three of our bar room accounts are victims of the illegal pet trade. So she was intercepted in Paris Airport after some tourists bought her in a market, and they were intending on taking her home and again keeping her as a pet. But obviously, as soon as they got to the airport, she was confiscated. And little Munya, who still hasn't adventured out yet, hopefully you will get a glimpse of her today. She probably has one of the worst stories of all. She was actually found chained up in a bar in Brussels. She was being used as the bar's entertainment. It was entertainment for the punters that visited to watch her smoke. So she was being taught how to smoke from about nine months old. And because of the amount of nicotine that was in her system, it actually caused stunted growth. This place has been so good. I was actually like feeling a little bit emotional when she was doing the talks of all the food because like each and every one of these guys are actually rescued and it's so rare to find somewhere good. that like hello hello oh Aww. you do anyway though it's just so nice to see them so happy and funny and we've just made a pact that like the place we went to this morning like my gut was telling me it wasn't right it wasn't like it wasn't bad but it wasn't great so so we've really enjoyed here today and uh, would highly recommend the Monkey Sanctuary, is it called? Yeah, the Monkey, Monkey Haven. Monkey Haven. It's just great. We just need, if we're going to have places like this, they need to be rescued and places like this. And they were saying that most of these animals actually couldn't be re released back into the wild because of their health issues or because of other things. Uh, one of the monkeys here was forced to smoke for like the first nine years of its life. So highly recommend. We're going to go find a nice spot down on the beach, I think, on the north side of the island. That's the plan. So we'll see you there. So sadly, we couldn't find anywhere decent, so we've just settled for this view. But, I don't know, a million pound view will do for me. It's actually a banger. <laughs> Doggy's coming. Mate, that is dreamy. hope you have enjoyed our first time ever to the Isle of Wight. Have you ever been to the Isle of Wight? No. no. Never been to the Isle of Wight, either of us. This makes me feel like I'm in Croatia again. It's so beautiful. Honestly, it feels like we're on a beach somewhere. Very not UK. But we hope you guys have enjoyed this, this video. Um, Van Life is fully back in action. And the hardest thing for us now is just to work out the balance of like what life I mean, we've only got this week away and then there will be trips over the summer hopefully and well there definitely will be more trips over the summer so we've got a lot to work out getting back in the swing of things with van life is hard i forgot how much just getting that balance of like actually getting work done but at the same time we just had a really good chat about or a very brief chat but about like what the future and the rest of the year looks like for me work wise i think i'm going to make some decisions to to change some things what about you well, obviously, I'm looking for a remote job, so... Yeah, Mia's looking for a remote job, remote job. So that will look different. Yeah. yeah, guys, enjoy the sunset, and we will see you in the next video. Stay safe, look after each other, and remember, never, never stop, stop creating. creating. Hey!